position. Obviously, he'll feel he's got a new lease of life. Down the left-hand side, Nombe is up against Ragged Extra on the attack. Step over from Nombe, onto his right foot. Nombe might hit one from here. He does, and it's a brilliant save from Macy. Wow, what a first contribution for the new goalkeeper, Nil Nil. Jacobs up against two, needs a bit of movement. A bit too close together there, Jacobs and Ogilvy. Can Ogilvy get the cross in? He's going to try. It's deep to the far post. Dale's there, back across goal and wide. Oh, so close to Pompey, but no goal, Nil Nil own half for Exeter sends it off the head of Ogilvy it's going to be picked up by White and White's driving towards the penalty area and if he looked up he was completely free he still is if anyone can find him it's loose outside the box Brown he'll finally find Key another great save by Macy and it's behind for another extra corner still nil nil well Macy right now needs to be having a go on his back four uh, inspiration for him to be doing well in this game is the fact that they, they haven't ever done that and these players can set that record. Ogilvy hits one from distance and it's tipped round the post by Flatman for a pumpy corner. Still nil now, but six in deficit in the corner counts as Jacobs goes to the far post. Raggett trying to attack it but Exeter get it out of the box. Tries to shoot for Swanson, drills it back in the area. It comes back off some feet and now Exeter have the counter-attack and this could be danger. Morel must make a challenge, he can't. And Brown's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Giovanni Brown for Exeter. Oh, wonderful save. Macy saves Pompey again. Best chance of the game goes begging, nil-nil. Wow, he's got long arms. <laughs> But that was it was great goalkeeping by him and well done to Swanson as well because Swanson, although he wasn't getting there, he was putting pressure. Towler on his Pompey debut, player signed from Bristol City, goes forward towards Bishop, short towards Jacobs. Jacobs coming out towards this left-hand side and Jacobs comes in field. Morel inside left channel, tries to spread play towards Swanson on that far side and Swanson is going to keep it in play and that's a good cross. Bishop's not going to get on the end of it. Pack will volley from distance. What a goal! Far on Pack! A wonderful strike! He watched it down onto his right foot and then sent a nipping effort past Blackman in front of the Bratton end. Horse with one, extra city nil. <laughs> well, you were saying, Andrew. <laughs> it wasn't a silly thing to say. It wasn't a silly thing to say, but... What a strike from Marlon Pack. He hasn't lasted it, he's controlled it. And it's gone right in the bottom corner. The skill level is massive for that, because the ball's dropping down. You're looking at it thinking, can I hit this first time? I'm going to have a go. Keep her eye on the ball. Which, of course, could change in the coming weeks, because there is talk of an experienced that were not talk, eh? an experienced assistant coach will come in. Whether Zesha Raymond will remain with the first team remains to be seen as Pompey break forward. Pack on the right, where can he find a man? Morrell, this time it is in! Joe Morrell has his first Portsmouth goal. It goes straight through the goalkeeper. It's not a classic, but after the miss a couple of moments ago, he won't mind. Pompey double their lead. And Joe Morrell has it in front of the Bratton end. Ports with two, Exeter City nil. <laughs> well, he was nervous, wasn't he, when, that, when he approached that ball? Contact wasn't the best, but maybe that's fooled. <laughs> fooled Blackman. I mean, for all Blackman's uh, heroics down at Exeter, he's been opposite today. I mean, it's, it's hit his thigh. He's hit part of him. He was all behind it. And quite how it's gone in.